In this video, you're going to see every detail of how I make a true Neapolitan pizza dough, just like pizza world champion, Johnny Di Francesco. It's experiment time. I've made a Neapolitan style pizza crust before using Poolish recipe, which turns out great. But the reality is, that's actually not pizza napoletana at all. For a pizza to be a true pizza napoletana, the dough has to follow a very specific recipe, along with a ton of other criteria. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna focus on just one thing, the pizza dough. I'm gonna try and make a pizza dough that's true to the standards of the Associazione Veraccia Pizza Napoletana. We'll see if my little home oven can then turn that into a good pizza. I'm hungry for pizza, so hopefully this doesn't end in a big disaster. The only ingredients that are allowed in Neapolitan pizza dough are flour, water, salt, and yeast. And it can't just be any flour. The flour must fit some complicated criteria that I won't bore you with, because you basically just have to buy Italian flour that says farina per pizza napoletana on it. That's all great, but how do we actually make Neapolitan pizza dough? Let's start out with amounts. Since most of us are just making pizza for ourselves or a couple other people, this recipe makes three medium-sized pizzas. We'll start with 225 grams of cool water and mix in 11 grams of salt. Once the salt has dissolved, we'll add just a little bit of our flour to make a pancake batter consistency. Then we'll stir in our eensy weensy bit of yeast, which is about three quarters of one gram. Once the yeast has dissolved, we'll gradually add our flour until it becomes a dough. At this point, we need to turn our dough onto the counter and knead in the last of the flour until a strong and springy dough forms, which can take a few minutes, like 20 minutes. Okay, our dough is kneaded and needs to rest for two hours at room temperature. I'm gonna cover this up so it doesn't form skin and then I'll be back in two hours to roll it into pizza balls. Two hours later, the pizza dough has risen just a little and we can form our dough balls. Since we know this is going to make three pizzas, we can simply split our dough into three equal parts. Balling up the dough is actually really easy. As long as you keep the smooth surface on top and crimp the bottom closed, you can't really go wrong. Now we need to put our dough balls in a sealed container and let them rest for another eight to 24 hours. Why eight to 24 hours? Because that's what the rule book says. If you are going to let your dough rest for a whole 24 hours, you probably need to keep it at a lower temperature, around 16 to 18 degrees Celsius, or put it in the fridge for part of the time, which is what I'm going to do. So here's why I have to put the dough balls in the fridge. This flour I used, along with most other flours meant for making pizza napoletana, can only handle about 16 hours of rising time at room temperature. In order to let the dough balls rest longer than that, I'll put them in the fridge overnight. The next morning I took my dough balls out of the fridge so they could come back to room temperature. This takes about three to four hours, so keep that in mind if you're going to put your dough in the fridge too. It's finally time to actually make the pizza. If you're gonna make pizza like this at home, there's a few things that you need. The first is a pizza stone or steel. I have the steel that heats up pretty quickly and has always worked well for me. The second is a pizza peel. You can't really get your pizza in the oven without it. I've put my pizza steel in the oven, and as you can see, I've put it at the very top. I want the pizza steel to be as close to that heating element as possible. As for oven settings, I'm just gonna put it on the hottest temperature and normal bake for now. Later on, we'll switch it to convection broil, which is this one, but for now, I just want it to heat up on normal bake. While the pizza steel heats up, I'm gonna prepare my toppings. Our pizza steel is hot, so it's time to make some pizza. So here's what I learned. It takes about two and a half to three minutes to cook a pizza at 330 degrees Celsius, at least in my oven. That's about 90 seconds more than perfection. Obviously this isn't like the real pizza napoletana from a wood-fired oven, but it is very good, especially considering my oven was 70 degrees Celsius less than any pizza oven should be. The crust didn't end up being quite as airy as I was hoping for, but I think that might just be from keeping the dough in the fridge for part of the time. Next time I'll try leaving the dough at room temperature and keeping the resting time to 60 hours. That said, the crust was actually easier to eat and felt less dense than any other crust that I've made using a poolish based dough. I suspect that's because real Neapolitan pizza dough requires a higher quality flour. So now you know how to make real Neapolitan pizza dough at home. This recipe is over 130 years old, so treat it with respect and it will turn out amazing. Watch this video here to see which oven settings work best for making pizza napoletana in a home oven.